I should probably turn this on. Uh, ooh, uh, hi, everybody. <laughs> yes, I was doing mouth warm-ups. Of course. <laughs> uh, okay, I was saying that, and you couldn't hear me, I was saying that uh, I have my air conditioner on in the background. I hope that the background noise is not too obnoxious. It is blazingly hot here in uh, California uh, as of a couple days ago. So, uh, I definitely need this on or I'm going to be, you know, sweating my balls off and we don't need that. <laughs> so, uh, but nonetheless, we have a grand total of 18 characters left to animate, uh, for the background characters that all of you out there graciously donated to appear in the upcoming Tome A2Z compilation movie. Uh, Tome Two Lives, which will be premiering to my YouTube channel on April 29th, very soon. Okay, good. The the fan doesn't sound too loud or anything. Great, 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 great. Okay, very good to hear. All right, yes, uh, we finished uh, a whole 18 of these guys last time. Um, a whole bunch of folks. Look at these guys. They look so cool. And I have gone ahead and I've placed them into the background scenes, which I may show at the end of the stream. Whew. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and get started. And I've got some Sonic Frontiers music I'm going to play. Yeah. Excuse me. So I went to uh, Anifest uh, right here in California in Torrance, about a half hour, 45 minute drive away. And uh, if anybody showed up this weekend and saw me, uh, if, if you're either tuning in here today or if you are uh, maybe seeing this archived later, uh, thanks everyone who showed up. Uh, that was especially if you were a Tome fan or have been watching my stuff on Newgrounds from back in the day or you're subscribed to my channel now. Uh, met quite a few very, very nice fans. Um, did, did okay at the con. Uh, broke even. I, I uh, made back what I spent on the prints and everything and a little extra. Um, probably about half a month's rent. So, you know, not, not too bad for my, my first con in probably three to four years or so at this point. How is the uh, volume of the uh, music compared to me, by the way? Probably lower that just a little bit. There we go. Yes, I also saw the Mario movie a uh, little over a week ago. Also, my camera is like, there we go. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, those nice fans that asked me to sign that, those drawings of Reagan and, Sa and Sans, because, you know, of course. That was pretty funny. Uh, funnily enough, also, earlier today, I got breakfast with Ian Cordy, uh, the creator of OKKO, who I hadn't seen in person in, in quite a while. It was very lovely to catch up with him. And I was happy to tell him I, I met quite a few OKKO fans at the con. Um, so apparently I need to do a, uh, I guess the next convention I go to, I've, I've got to do a, uh, a print of... Uh, of my KO characters at some point. I ought to I gotta go ahead and do that. So What did my brother think of featuring? Uh yes! He liked him a lot. My brother Vic uh I, I showed him that uh over FaceTime uh one year. I think either maybe Fourth of July or Christmas or something. I can't remember, but he was over my uh, my dad's place because he's back in New York with his family. His wife and two kids. Although one of his kids, uh, my uh, nephew, is I think in Italy. Um, he's a uh, he's in the navy. Um, but yeah, you liked it, and yes, he does rap. Um, he did a rap video actually for this one company a few years ago. 
Um, I don't think it's still up anywhere, but uh, yeah, that was that was actually kind of the inspiration for that a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so it was fun, and who else was there? Derek Stephen Prince was there. I hadn't seen him in a little while. Um, and I saw... I met Kelly Ohanian for the first time, who turned out to be related to uh, this woman, Lisa Ohanian, who I had worked with on uh, some of those video game projects I directed for Servios, um, the uh, uh, VR company, uh, which I, I did some video game directing work for a long time ago. And Jackie uh, Lastra was there, and uh, Amber May was there, uh, and I met Alex Cazares, who's the voice of uh, Rebecca from uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runner. She was a riot, uh, super cool. Great to talk with her. I have gotten some. I think I've gotten some Perd fan art. Maybe not at conventions, but definitely uh, in in general, I have. Um, people love Purd. <laughs> they just love him screaming. Danith Rabbit, thank you for contributing a character to the first Tomo VA. I appreciate that very much. Oh, and you watched TTI. You know, there were a few people I met at the convention also that uh, were were surprisingly TTA fans. I was uh, I was very taken aback by that. A lot of people look like they've seen the uh, the Mario movie. If you guys are interested, uh, I went ahead and I did a... Well, when you've seen it, because it's got some spoilers, of course. But uh, I went ahead and I did a review of the Mario movie, a Kerblog video of that. Um, I put that out last week, uh, pretty much right after I got home from seeing it with uh, a few people. And I actually went to go see it twice, believe it or not. Um because I had plans with multiple people to see it, <laughs> so, uh, but I quite enjoyed it. It wasn't perfect. It had had some some weaknesses here and there, but uh, overall, it was it was uh, a really really fun time. Uh, I thought I, th I thought it was a super enjoyable experience. It was very clearly made with a lot of love, and uh, I can't wait to see more of them. I hope we get the I hope we get the Donkey Kong movie next if the rumors are true on that. So. by the way, I suppose I would be remiss not, not to mention. Uh, so I, just on my Patreon, uh, I put up the official thread for people to make suggestions of what the uh, next Kerblog topic will be. Um, the, the monthly uh, 
uh, one that I'll be picking a suggestion from somebody uh, for $3 patrons and up. So, I've gotten a few good suggestions already, and if you would like to be part of that, uh, go to patreon.com slash Kerberfer to uh, get all the details there. Um, and in addition, I'll be picking not only the uh, the winner of uh, who will be getting their a uh, 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 Kerblog topic uh, suggested on the 15th, uh, but I'll also be drawing the first winner of the monthly uh, personalized character drawing that I'll be doing for $10 patrons. So if you would like the opportunity for perhaps uh, a drawing of uh, your own character for me, uh, then uh, go ahead and uh, check it out. And perhaps if you want to be a patron to help support my future creative endeavors. one down here. What number are we up to? We are up to 151. This will be character number 152 here that we're adding. Also, of course, Mega Man uh, Battle Network Collection is going to be coming out uh, this Thursday, and uh, I will be streaming that on release day. Uh, Hopefully, unless something comes up, I hope that it doesn't, because <laughs> uh, I'd love to jump right into that. How to play that Tiny Toons game on my channel? Oh, the, uh, what was it, Buster's Hidden Treasure? Uh, I played that on an emulator. I do own a physical copy of it, so, you know, legally, you know, was fine to do that, uh, in my eyes, anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I had uh, an original copy of it on uh, Sega Genesis back in the day, and then uh, I bought a new copy of it. I want to say maybe at, like, maybe at MAGFest or something? I can't remember. It's been a little while, but... Or maybe, maybe at uh, Game Realms, maybe at one of those, like, retro... Uh, uh, events that they, you know, sell a bunch of games and stuff like that, but, uh, yeah, I played that on a Sega Genesis emulator when, when my dad was visiting. That was fun. Uh, oh, I don't remember what emulator I used for that. I, I'm honestly, I probably don't even have it anymore. I have not been uh, playing any real, uh, uh, what's it called? I've not really been playing any games on emulator. It's funny, because I had even been considering playing the Battle Net, because I, I do, again, I own them all, so I wouldn't have felt bad about emulating those, but uh, I had, uh, I had considered playing the Battle Network games on uh, on emulator, streaming those on my channel a little while ago, but uh, I wanted to hold out for the possibility of a legacy collection, uh, and uh, lo and behold, we got one, so here we are, and uh, very, very happy about that, and especially that Max Buster mode, I will absolutely be uh, indulging in that, so... <laughs> 
Oh god, I got. I don't know why. I got pins and needles in my foot for some fucking reason. Ech. We have officially surpassed the amount of Pokemon Gen 1 with tone background characters. Oh, way more than that, because this is just the new ones for uh, the crowd scenes in um, the compilation movies. Because we have, I think, at least another, like. We're going, Baton! I'm going, Baton! Sorry. Game Grumps for you. Um, I think we had at least 200 in uh, the original series, like, as it was. Nitwit? King Bard, is this your character? Or maybe do you know the person whose character this is? I know they were... The person who made Whitney, I think, was in the chat last time I was streaming? Or maybe the time before that? Oh, this is your character. Very cool. Glad to hear. Do I sometimes watch TTA when I'm super bored and even com uh, comment? Man, I was a dorky kid. Uh, yeah, the rare times I've ever gone back and rewatched any TTA, yeah, I've definitely been like, man, I would like to think that I'm a better writer and creator now. I would, I would like to think, hopefully. <laughs> Do I think Pizza Tower would work as a cartoon a la Cuphead? I don't know. I mean, you'd probably have to come up with more of an actual, like, premise. Uh, but it could certainly be interesting to see uh, some of those characters uh, in, like, you know, a little fun cartoon setting, perhaps. Oh, her eyes are magenta. Got it. I hadn't even colored them, them at all. Oops. Sorry about that.
Will I release an album featuring the new music for A to Z and Hard Reset on Bandcamp? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I did put up a little bit of the new music that I did for uh, the previous one on my Twitter, just as like a little video, because I, I did them in... Uh, what's it called? Uh... Uh, in like the Google Music Maker, um, and I know that some of the ones that I licensed from uh, VHS cassette are on their uh, what's it called? Uh, their um, SoundCloud. So if you want to go check the couple new tracks that I used from that, um, you can go look them up. Um, but. Yeah, otherwise I don't think I'll be doing a, a separate band camp release for all that. Sorry to say. There we go. A curb stream to brighten your bad day? Oh, I hope it does, Villano. Thanks for coming by, appreciate it. Would I say the Patreon's working out so far? Um, it's, I mean, to, to start off with, it's it's done okay. Um, I'm only at, uh, how many do I have? Let me see. Currently I have a little over 30 patrons, which is about 220 bucks a month. So, you know, not a whole ton. That's about, that's about what I make per month also off of uh, YouTube ad revenue. Um, as of as of right now, I, I make uh, usually about two to three hundred bucks. Three hundred is if I have like a really good month on uh, on YouTube. So you know, not not a ton, not not a whole lot. Certainly not my uh, my my main source of income, unfortunately. Um, but we'll see. I'm I'm hoping that uh, as I continue to produce stuff, that it will uh, you know pick up more and more people as time goes on, and definitely when. Um, Balancing Act properly gets underway. I would like to introduce um, another higher tier for people to uh, follow along with the production uh, from, uh, uh, you know, like some of the behind the scenes stuff and everything is, is the intention. So, you know. Thoughts on the ending songs of Inuyasha? I love the ending songs of that show. Um, I love all the openings and endings of uh, Inuyasha, actually. They're old, old classics for me. Watching in bed. Nice. Doing your script writing assignment while watching the stream. Very cool.
watching two art streams at the same time. Oh, who else are you watching? Uh, Kasai. I know, uh, Andy Fay has been uh, continuing to do drawing streams. I, I need to tune into her stuff. We should, her and I should collab at some point. Now that I, I have a VTuber with which to collab. Watching a uh, furry artist working on Patreon, Wallaco. Okay, cool. I, you know, I've always kind of wanted to go to a furry convention. I remember years ago I did a, uh, I did a curb blog with um, Zach Holzman, uh, Apatheria. Um, he goes by uh, Timber Preppers. He's a, uh, a furry uh, voice actor and dancer and performer and stuff. He's a cool guy. Um, he did some additional voices on the Tom series back in the day, actually. In fact, you'll be hearing him in uh, the A2Z, uh, the, the Two Lives uh, installment happening next. Um, but I remember I did a curb lot with him and Bosco, and they, they told me all about their experiences at furry conventions. And it'd be really fun to go try one. I'd love to do that at some point. I just got to be invited to one. Coloring her neck. There we go. Throws my name into the hat of two of the local furry conventions. Yes, please do. If you guys uh, want to see me appear at a convention near you, uh, please go ahead and uh, recommend me. Um, they, I think that they all usually have like guest suggestion forms. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I seriously, I'd be happy to do one. It'd be really fun to do one, actually. The only thing is, I don't know if I necessarily have, like, a, a character that uh, would make me, like, appealing as a guest to one, necessarily. Um, I'm not really sure if, if I, you know, quantify for that, because I'm not, it's not like, you know, Ben with Haida and, you know, that kind of thing. Or, or Jonah with, uh, what's it called? Uh, 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 B-Stars and with uh, Legacy. Have I read Bone? Yes, I have read Bone by Jeff Smith, and yes, I was very, very sad about the Netflix series 
uh, or, or a movie rather being canceled. In fact, actually, Ian and I were just talking about that. Um, yeah, that's that's a huge bummer. I, I've wanted to see a, a bone um, animated adaptation for many many years. I do really still hope that it happens someday. Oh, half an hour, already making good time. Cool, cool. Sweet. All right. Oh, you got Jonah's autograph. Jonah played the RPG version of uh, Serpentine, actually. Who's the worst person? Web series oddball or RPG oddball? That's a tough, uh, gosh, that's a tough comparison. They're both pretty disgusting and awful in their own unique ways. What do you guys think? Do you like my non-committal answer? <laughs> Watched any cool shows recently? Uh, I have also been watching Monkey Kid, or I did a, a couple months ago. I've not seen the new season yet. Uh, I would love to watch it, but I've not seen it yet. Um, I'm trying to think. What have, what have, oh, I've been watching the uh, the final season of Pokemon Journeys. Because uh, that just went up, I think, on Netflix a little while ago. Uh, that's been fun. And, I mean, I'm always watching One Piece episodes because, of course... Oh, I just started the uh, near... Actually, speaking of, because I was going to say this character's face, I ended up making looking... Kind of like 2B. Uh, I am watching the uh, Near Automata anime. Uh, I've been liking that so far. Yes, that's true. I did. I did just draw Rabbit Curb, but I don't think that that constitutes me as like a furry icon. Would it be called Furbifer? <laughs> Jesus. What would Kerbifer look like as a furry? Uh, I mean, yeah, you've seen him. <laughs> my 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 bun Sona. There you go. Question answered. <laughs> Mash anime that came out. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't think. Don't I also have a bug sona? Oh yeah, I did used to draw. Uh, what's it called? Um, yeah, the the 2011 version of Curb is like a little cockroach guy, but that was. 
That was kind of like, that barely counted because it was just like, I gave him, you know, <laughs> I gave him antenna and a, and a fucking, and a little, a little shell, you know, that's about it. Went to a Q&A with Jonah Scott and Ben Disk and asked him about to, oh, what did you, uh, what did you ask them? Do they hopefully have nice things to say? <laughs> Never get the chance to play the near Automata game. Uh, yes, I did play. I only played the first route, though. Uh, I, I actually I borrowed Kira's copy of the game. Uh, this is her very precious copy, signed by Yoko Taro himself. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I just didn't. I didn't get around to playing um, the other uh, routes, which I know that's kind of the whole point of the game is that there's like the multiple. Uh, endings and everything, um, but I, I did not get the chance to do the other ones. I don't know how the show will be, like, adapting that stuff, necessarily. I'm kind of curious to see how that goes. Um, so we'll see. They said I'm a cool guy. Oh, that's nice. What, uh, what con was that? Bug fur. Kitsune Khan. Gotcha. If there's a recording of the panel, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to go track that down. You know, it's funny, I'm surprised, because of how much things have changed with uh, conventions in general, I'm actually even kind of surprised that they do panels as much. Because, um, for those of you guys who don't know, um, the way that conventions have changed a lot, at least for the likes of us kind of like, you know, non-celebrity kind of anime people and everything, um, we... Uh, we don't usually get uh, get paid by the conventions, like like for like a, an appearance fee anymore. That's the way that it used to work, uh, where they'd pay us to just be a guest and then we'd do everything, you know, individually. Um, and uh, that was that was like the the way that the old sort of model of everything went. Now, the way it works is usually the comm will pay for just the travel and, uh, you know, putting you up at a hotel um, and, uh, and maybe, you know, food and whatever. But uh, otherwise, it's really up to you to make all the money that you make at a con, which is, excuse me, oh my gosh, uh, which is the reason why now it's so dependent on selling merchandise, you know, doing prints, uh, or if you have other stuff, you know, then why now it's so funny how like pop figures, the pop, uh, vinyl figures or whatever have become such a big thing now, uh, because they're like a collector item. If you get them signed by actors, collectors item, excuse me. And, uh, because before they were considered like almost kind of like, kind of a cheapo, like almost a joke gift, you know, they're like kind of whatever. But now, uh, if you have a, a pop figure of a character that you voice, like you can make a lot of money 
selling autographs at conventions. And the thing is, admittedly, I don't really like that model too much um, in terms of like, because even I didn't feel great about when I went to the the Anifest, um, uh, and, and I'm not blaming the convention itself. It's not you know, it's not, not a decision by them necessarily, because um, they treated me perfectly fine. It's just in general that like that's the way it goes now. Because um, I didn't feel great about even at the convention uh, when I was charging for even just like selfies, you know, like taking pictures or whatever. I think the one thing that I would do for free, because um, I got some advice from Karina Becker uh, and uh, Kira and uh, Alejandro Saab and probably a couple other people. Um, they had said that uh, like, oh, if you're signing like somebody's badge or, you know, like a flyer or something like really simple, like I just do that for free. Um, but like, what was it? I did like selfies and, uh, signing people's like personal items for $10. Uh, or I would sell prints and do like personalized videos for people like as a character, which I don't think anybody actually requested that, but that was, I, I sold that stuff for $30. So yeah, it, it's not my favorite. I, I don't, I don't love doing things that way. Uh, but you know, that's, that's the way it is now. Um, a lot of that all kind of changed uh, after the pandemic hit and then people started doing like the online conventions and the streamily events and all that sort of thing, you know. Uh, so I got to adapt and, uh, and it's fine. I just, you know, I do what I can with it. But uh, I don't have any other conventions lined up at the moment. So, uh, but I hope I'll get to do some more in the future. I would really like to. Makes sense why there's no more freebies for autographs, like first one's free. Yeah, yeah, that that's similar to how things used to be. Um, but now it's like everything, everything costs money because, you know, that's, that's the only way that people that are guesting at cons are. And the thing is, like, you know, even before that became more common for, like, the quote-unquote little guys, you know, like the voice actors and stuff. The reason I say that is because celebrities... Uh, it used to be that they they would get paid both for an appearance fee and they would they would charge for uh, for autographs and stuff and usually you know that's because they're they're so big that they can afford to do that um, because they're such a commodity and, and etc. But for for like you know the anime scene kind of guys it was um, not typical for a lot of them to do that necessarily. Have I traveled outside of California or New York for cons, Chris? Yes, yes, I have. I have done, uh, I've done a few cons around the, the nor uh, around North America, uh, and I actually did one in Canada many years ago. I did um, Anime Evolution in Vancouver uh, years ago, or not Vancouver? I think it was Burnaby. 
Uh, oh, Rare Kirby, thank you for the $10 super chat. Give it advice to Mob. Tell him Rare Kirby is a cool person. I love Mob Psycho, by the way. Thank you. Go buy some chips or something, lol. <laughs> thank you, Rare Kirby. If you're interested in supporting me further, uh, you can check out patreon.com slash Kerbifer, and uh, you might get the chance to uh, have a Kerblog topic, uh, a video uh, about any topic that you might want me to, to speak about picked once a month, or you might get a personalized drawing from a raffle. Uh, if you want to go check out what else I can offer, if you would like to support me further uh, from here, go check out my Patreon linked uh, right here down uh, down below. Thanks so much. Yeah, I'm trying to think of also where, where else have I been? I did Anime Week in Atlanta. In Atlanta, obviously, I did. Uh, oh gosh, uh, Yomacon in Michigan. Uh, Milwaukee, Anime Milwaukee, yeah, a few different ones. It's been a long time since I did con. You know what the sad thing is too? Back when I did cons, and I, I was such a cringe fest. I swear to God, I look, I look back on some of those old videos of me at these conventions, and it looked like a, uh, it was just such a douchebag. Um, I had like no business guesting at conventions because you know all I was really known for back then, really, was. Um, What's it called? Uh, you know, like my old Nintendo parodies and, and uh, uh, like some of my Newground stuff. And, and I had my one role on Pokemon, which, you know, a lot of people didn't even really know or care about. Uh, and then, like, it was it was more than anything. It was just because, like, I worked with uh, Martin, Little Karibo, a lot on, you know, his Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge stuff at the time. Like, that was really, like, why? Um, cause, and, and he even, like you know, got me in with a couple conventions in the first place. Like, it was because of him. So, like, it's it's ironic that now that, like, I've done stuff that is... I would like to think, you know, convention-worthy because I've done, you know, actual characters that people would give a shit about. It's it's a lot harder for me to uh, get invited to cons. Excuse me, but... Oh, I made her. I made her fur a little pink because I figured I would try to just differentiate it a little bit. But yeah, that's fine. I'll just make it like a. Let me see if that's differentiated enough. Yeah, that's just different enough. Did I... Wait, did I finish doing her thing? Hold on. Oh, no I didn't. There we go. Alrighty. Cool, cool. Give me one second. I'm going to go refill my water. I'll be back in one moment. Oh, did I color? Oh, I colored the ears. Oops. Whoopsie doops. Sorry about that. Alright, cool. Let me fix 
that. Okay, cool. All right, time for this cute frog girl. Oh yeah, the 2010 Zero was something else back then when it came to cons and being guests there for the abridge, abridging or internet parody stuff. Yeah, that, that really was like the time for uh, Martin and the Team Four Star guys and, and um, the, was it the Something We guys, I think, that did the Sword Art Abridge, I, th I believe. Yeah, it's funny the, how the trends have changed so much because like, People, other than the people that were, well, some of the people that are still doing them, some people stopped doing that, but um, abridging is, like, kind of a dead thing now, because now it's just all about, like, people, people don't really want to do that now, they just, they want to, they want to stream, or they want to, uh, you know, be VTubers, that kind of thing, um, you know, that, yeah, that, that whole kind of, like, path for people, and I guess, honestly, I don't really mind it that much, because, like, I think people learned quickly that that path was sort of, oh, like, I'm, usually it's like, I, I want to do voice acting or editing and etc., but, like, it also became this kind of risk of, I'm going to get into doing a bridge series and build a reputation for myself, but also I might piss off the companies that are making the original show that I'm abridging in the first place and oh, this is kind of too much of a risk to do that. Maybe I shouldn't do that, you know? Um, which is why now it's like, oh, if you're like a streamer or like some kind of like, you know, YouTuber or TikTok person, like there's almost a trend now where like that seems to be, for better or worse, that's like a path to, you know, getting into voiceover as well for people. I mean, because there have been cases where like there have been some productions that have just cast people that are internet uh, celebrities, um, you know. Something witty and Grimjack. I don't know Grimjack. I don't. I don't know what show they're they're bridging. I mean, Martin still does Yu-Gi-Oh abridged when when he's able to. Obviously, he you know he's got a lot of health problems that he has to take care of himself first and foremost when he has time. I know I know he and Marin stream stuff you know here and there. Oh, this is your character, uh, Crate Like Crete. Is it Poge? Is that how you say it? Poge, Poge. She's super cute. Thanks so much for donating her. Happy to have her included in my world. Pogi, gotcha, Pogi. Good to know. <laughs> that reminds me, I don't remember if I ever told this story, but um, I've had a couple of friends, uh, like other colleagues, that like vaguely knew, oh yeah, like, like people that I know from the voiceover world that also know that I do like animation and stuff. I remember, um, I think it was, it was Natalie Hoover, uh, who's in uh, over in Texas now at Crunchyroll. Uh, she was like, "Oh, like your your animated series. Uh, what is it? Uh, Tome?" And I was like, 
it's it's tome, but but yes, thank you. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, fucking what is it? Uh, oh my god. Uh, oh, Sean Shemo actually, uh, the voice of Goku was like, oh yeah, no, your your animation thing. What is it? Is it is it to me? I thought it was like one of those like you know kind of. Uh, you know, really hippy dippy kind of titles like your name or something. And I'm like, no, it's it's Tome, Sean. But, but <laughs> good good try. <laughs> that was funny. See froppy vibes. Yeah, I see that. Grim Jet does Goblin Slayer abridged. Oh wow, that's an obscure one. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> oh yeah, I'm at soup. <laughs> I haven't talked to him in like years. Uh, Purple Eyes. Um, he's a nice guy. I met him long, long time ago at. Uh, Oh god, where did I meet him? Uh, I think Anime Next or something? I don't remember. <laughs> to me. <laughs> I should have used those names for April Fool's Day pranks vids for Tom. Oh, to, to me and, and to me. <laughs> well, I do like to do stupid shit for April Fool's every year, so you never know. You know, it's also been very encouraging since, uh, over the years as I've had, you know, all these different characters added into Tome, be it the, uh, the game or the series, it's, uh, the fact that, um, there have been such a nice variety of, uh, different types of designs that people have, have given me. Like, like, uh, for this one, there were, there were quite a few, like, you know, heavier set characters and, uh, you know, like, muscular and skinny and short, like just all sorts of different things, you know? Um, I joked about when we did the game, there were, <laughs> there were quite a few, um, you know, guys with swords, uh, that were, um, you know, some of the characters that I got. And that's fine, you know, it's, I, I'm still, I'm still just grateful that like, uh, people are, are kind enough to support my work by, you know, wanting their characters to be included. Um, and, uh, but I, but I definitely get a lot more excited about when it's like a really interesting kind of unique, uh, sort of design to include, you know, to my own personal taste, that is, you know, to what, to what I personally find interesting, that's all.
squid. The squid is attacking. Oh! Whitney was originally a joke, main character designed for a silver gunner fan game idea. Never went anywhere. Oh well now here she is. She gets to, to make her debut to the world, presumably in, in Tom. Which is a, a privilege for me, so thank you for allowing me to have her in here. April Fools, I should make a bootleg Pikachu model and do the Pikachu voice the whole stream. I don't know if the Pokemon company would appreciate all that, so uh, probably not. Six down. Cool. All right. Sorry if yours was basic. No, you're fine. Basic is fine. I, that means I can get it done quicker. So, all good. Ooh, thank you, Quetzali, for becoming a uh, uh, a new patron. Ooh, wait, am I reading right? Hold on a minute. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Yeah, new $3 a month patron. Thank you, Quetzal Philly. Uh, oh, sorry, Qu Quetzali Phi. Quetzali Phi, I think is how I'm assuming to say your name. If you're in the stream right now and you uh, subscribe to my Patreon, thank you very much for doing so. If I were to do the I Met Soup scene, which tone characters would I use? Oh, God. I don't know. You know what? It'd be kind of funny. Okay, okay. I, I, is it? I don't remember the character. Was it Suzaku Kudududugi or was it uh, Lelouch who was the one that like I'm at the soup store? 
I don't remember like which ones were because it's been a lot of time. I, I think it was Suzaku. I okay. If I'm right about it being Suzaku that was at the soup store, and Lelouch is talking to him on the on the phone, I would have Curb on the phone, and uh, GC as as Suzaku at the store, just just completely being like. I'm at the store. I'm at the soup store. I'm like, why are you at the soup store? <laughs> but they'd just be like, like, all right, you don't have to shout at me. <laughs> Suzaku was at soup. Yes, okay, that's what I thought. It's funny because I don't remember if I ever actually watched the Code Geass thing, the Purple Eyes May. I because I more so just kind of knew Purple Eyes. Uh, Nick through like the other people that knew him at the time that were friends with him. Um, I don't remember if I actually watched it. Oh no no, no. I think I watched his One Piece thing, if, if I'm remembering correctly. It's been a very very long time. Like I said, I haven't talked to him in years. Um, but uh, but I I mainly knew him for that, as you know, I'm sure most people. <laughs> Probably that's the legacy he's kind of left behind, for better or worse. I wonder how he feels about that, actually. I wonder if that's, like, his brawl taunts where, like, he's, like, not proud of it. But it's, like, the thing that he's known for. Although I say that, I'm not really... I don't... I like to think that I'm not really, like, known for brawl taunts, like, anymore. Um, it seems like, for the most part, I've kind of overwritten that with now people mainly know me for Tome. At least that's what I like to think. Home and the guy who voices Reagan. Yeah, I guess that is what I'm known best for now. I mean, I prefer that. I prefer to be better known for my own work and a character that I'm very proud to be known for as opposed to, you know, a Smash parody that is very dated and very not funny. I was surprised to find out, I, I, I think I might have mentioned this before too, um, I was surprised to find out that there's actually like quite a few people that uh, uh, when they see like Casey at conventions, they bring up uh, Game Crazed. I was like, oh that's cool. say the Smash parody isn't funny, but to me it is. It's okay. Your tastes will evolve in time. <laughs> no, it's fine. If, it's, if, people, if people think Brawl Tots is funny, then whatever, it's fine. If anything, just, you know, give credit to Kira, because she's the one who actually wrote it. I just animated it in five seconds. <laughs>
got back in time for your Banui Cosmosis. I hope I am doing them justice. Their design is very cute. Alternatively, Zeto and Kizuna, and Kizuna is the one at the store while Zeto is the other. <laughs> Actually, I feel like that'd be the opposite. I think uh, Z Zeto's the one who would be at the soup store, not knowing what the hell he's doing. Oh yeah, perfect example. We got another uh, another nice heavy set uh, anatomy character. Nice to have some variety like this. I like it. Oh, Creek like Creek. Uh, oh, this was your character too. Yes, that's right. Uh, 
Uh, her sister. Uh, I don't. Mm, let me see. Is this the ones I have left? This guy, the shark. This character. This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. Ooh, I don't know. Unless I already maybe did them. I'm not sure. Let me, uh, let me go back and check real quick. Uh, yeah, you know what? Reply to that email thread. Because I think, if I'm remembering right, I might be confusing this with a different thing. I remember there was like, oh, like, you can pick one of these. Because I think, did I do another one? And I might have thought that the 100 was for her, like, like one of those two of my choosing, and maybe a different thing. I could be remembering wrong. Um, I'd have to go double chat that, but, uh... Yeah, just send a reply to that email chain, and I'll I'll go check the records on that. God damn, it is hot. Oh, I took my shirt off. I hope no one minds. Hopefully Oddball doesn't find out. considered a filler episode if I um, if I had like a lot of money uh, for help and, and whatever I would have loved to do like filler episodes and other little funny stupid stuff for the 2011 series I had ideas for for like filler episodes um, but because I only you know had the budget and time and you know ability to do only so much um, I had to, uh, you know, I had to kind of limit what I could do to just what was the most important. Um, so, because uh, even admittedly, I think I ended up doing like a little less um, the number of episodes that uh, I was intending, uh, that I was planning on. I think, um, I think I was planning to do like 20 based on like the original outline that I had, which at first was like a concept for doing it as a game. And then eventually I decided to do it as a, as a show instead, as, you know, a lot of fans know this already. But, um, yeah, I ended up, uh, I ended up just, you know, kind of sticking to what was the most important for the, the story, like, as a whole, um, you know. But it would have been fun to, if, if I was able to do more 
goofy kind of filler episodes and stuff as well. Yes, I do remember that time that I took my shirt off in Ben's booth and he tweeted a picture of it. A bastard. I was actually just recording um, some revisions to my uh, my voiceover demo, one of one of my uh, one of my demos that I did recently. Uh, I was redoing that uh, some stuff at, at, and I recorded it at his place. Um, and I was making that joke of like. It's, it's, if it gets sweaty in there and I take my shirt off again, don't don't tweet it. It's the last fucking thing I need right now. <laughs> At least by now I've worked out enough where I don't like, I don't think I look awful. But you know, mentions his shirt off. I didn't sign up for that kind of Patreon. No, my Patreon is not an OnlyFans. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. Or, or hope I've relieved you if that's the case. <laughs> Who's OC is this? This is, um, this is, uh, by, uh, Crete Like Crete in the chat there. Yeah, I'll go check that email in just a moment. Check some stuff real quick. I see. Okay, there we go. All right. Cool. All right. Really? Yeah, just took the records, so we're good for that. I will throw her in here. There she is. Okay.
playing Sonic right now. Oh, how fitting. We're playing some Sonic Frontiers music. Gonna go ahead and do some drawing of your own while you listen to the stream. Cool. Anybody do anything for Easter? Uh, the only chocolate thing I treated myself to for Easter was I got like a hot chocolate from Starbucks. That was about it. Nothing too crazy. Thank you, Shio, for the $5 super chat. Hope things are going well. Keep up the good work. Really appreciate it. Shio, if you're interested in uh, supporting me further, since you've sent quite a few super chats, I very much appreciate that. If you want to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash curbrefer, linked right here on the video and in the description, uh, you can suggest Kerblog video topics for me to discuss, uh, and also... Uh, you can enter into a raffle for a chance to get a personalized drawing from me once a month. Go check it out if you might be interested. Oh, you're a $10 patron? Oh, thank you, Shio. That's great. Apologies for forgetting then. Sorry about that. I'll be choosing um, the uh, the first uh, Kerblog topic for a monthly patron, as well as the, uh, the first winner of the personalized drawing uh, on the 15th. Quite fitting for my name, of course, for, for Kerber for 15. And there's always a 15th of every month, so I figured that would be thematically kind of fun. Oh, hair stops at her shoulders? Oh, okay, cool. I'm sorry. I made it a little longer than, than it was advertised. My bad. Oh, can the, your, the personalized drawing be your OCs? Yes, they can be uh, any one character that you want. Any, any character that you want. Um, yeah. Absolutely cool with that. So if that's... Uh, something that would make you interested in entering the raffle if you want to become a patron, then yes, if you win uh, the monthly raffle, I will absolutely be happy to draw your OC. No problem with that at all. That's pretty common for uh, for patron uh, Patreon uh, drawing requests and stuff like that, actually. I had talked about this um, when I was putting that video out there kind of for feedback about like what I should do for different rewards and things. Um, what I would have loved to do is, if I could muster it, I would have loved to do, like, you know, a doodle for everybody of a certain uh, Patreon tier every month. But uh, I really want to be careful with the condition of my arms. So I felt, uh, ah, that's probably a little too much. So I, I didn't end up going that route, sadly. You're drawing Alpha and Curve doing the soup store thing. <laughs> Super cool. Oh, Kasai Okami, yes, you're already also a $10 Patreon. Patron, thank you very much. Oh, why did Splat and Saturn Diva look similar? Okay, so, um, 
Atlas is half correct that it was partially because I used the same uh, sort of sprite base, which was uh, I used Roll EXE from uh, Mega Man Battle Network as kind of the model to go off of for that. But it was also because it was kind of inspired a little bit by um, the characters in Dot Hack, where uh, sometimes there would be characters that would uh, uh, would have uh, similar designs because they were from like the same sort of uh, basic like character class sort of thing, um, and uh, like for instance the uh, the the. What's it called? The, I think they're like the, the Great Swordsman or Grand Swordsman. or No, uh, Heavy Swordsman. That was it. Something like that. He heavy Blade, I think. And um, so, like, Mimidu from the anime and then Black Rose from the, uh, uh, from the video games, they both had um, Heavy Swordsman female class kind of designs. And uh, they happen to, uh, you know, pick similar sort of models. It, I imagine it's one of those things where it's like, oh, you know, they, uh, there were only so many sort of predetermined kind of uh, designs that you could choose from, and, and they happen to, you know, pick something similar. Um, that was probably the idea behind when I designed them that way in uh, the original uh, uh, TTA series, and. Um, I suppose in 2011 I could have differentiated them more and just didn't think to because, you know, was still trying to improve my character design sensibility. And uh, and then, of course, in the RPG, I had them both as, like, you know, more full-on slime people and everything. And, uh, yeah, I uh, went ahead and differentiated them a lot more. So Splat and Saturn Diva and the RPG look almost nothing alike. <laughs> so... I have seen the Mario, yes, Jonathan. If you want to hear my thoughts, uh, check out the Kerblog that I did last week uh, where I talk about uh, my opinions and thoughts on the movie. mention uh, without getting into too much detail uh, I did uh, I did start animating yesterday on a very special uh, new sequence that will be in the third and final of the tone compilation movies which that will be coming out over the summer um, so look forward to that um, still will be a while from now of course it's uh, sure to be something very cool that I think you guys will like. Favorite podcast? Um, I listen to Konzenshu, the podcast, which is a Dragon Ball podcast. Uh, lately I've been listening to, uh, The Heart of the Cards by Dan Green and Eric Stewart. Uh, often I go back and I listen to, uh, 
uh, voice print with Trevor Duvall and guests, which I learned a lot about voice acting from. Uh, a lot of those those episodes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. Let's uh, let's take a little break. Uh, I'm gonna go grab a snack real quick. Let me go ahead and uh, lower my ugh, thing here. Okay. One second, let me see something here. Alright. Um, oh, as to not, uh, Third Confusion... Uh, at the most, how should I comment about the personalized drawing? Oh, okay, so I'll explain that real quick. Um, so basically, you don't have to do that uh, on, a, on a thread like with the Kerblot topics. Basically, uh, ugh, I got my shirt. Um, I will be randomly selecting the winner of the raffle on the 15th for the personalized drawing, and then I will contact the winner perso uh, personally. And uh, then they can let me know what they want, like what the character that they would like to be. Uh, drawn and uh, uh, for the, the the winning prize, <laughs> of course, words. Um, so yeah, so if you win, uh, I will contact you. I will announce the winner uh, of both the selected curve blood topic as well as uh, the personalized drawing. I will be doing that um, on the fifteenth. So uh, keep an eye out. Yeah. Uh, oh, you see your boy? Wait, which one's your boy? Have I not gotten up to them yet? I've got these left to do. So if, if, if it's one of yours, I'll be getting to it momentarily. But all right. So uh, I will be right back after this. I'm going to go grab a snack and take a little break.
Hi. We're back. Oh. Got myself a little uh, toasted uh, burger bun with cream cheese and some grapes. Oh. Favorite Sonic game? I really like Sonic Generations. That's one that I've uh, gone back and played through a couple times all the way through. Adventure 2, I've got a soft spot for. Uh, Sonic 3, I like the levels of a lot. Those are some, some faves for me, personally. Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> I'd like to go to Super Nintendo World. Yes, I would. I have not gotten the chance to uh, to go yet. Um, some friends of mine have. I'm quite jealous of them. It tastes grape. Yes, it does. Very funny. Excuse me. Oh, the dragon guy? Yeah, this guy right here? Yeah. Um, these are all the previously seen uh, characters that I'm um, carrying over, or these top ones are ones that were from uh, the, what's it called? Uh, the, the commissions that I did back in fall of last year. So. Street. And you were in the game too, I think, weren't you? I remember drawing this character for the RPG. Weird combo. It's not that weird of a combo, is it? Yeah, no, thank you, Kasai. Yeah, they're cool. Very, very detailed uh, designs. I hope I did a good job on them. Yeah, cheese does go good with uh, with fruit. I think I, I've told you guys about like my uh, kind of comfort food plate. It's like a couple slices of cheddar cheese, uh, baby carrots, fruit, usually grapes because that's kind of my go-to. Sometimes I'll swap it out for something else if I have something else. Um, usually one or two hard-boiled eggs, uh, a cookie. Um, I switch those out. I, I have a, la a last little batch of uh, Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies that I haven't finished yet. And uh, and then, uh, oh, usually like some crackers of some kind, often goldfish, which I'm immensely picked on for, uh, or pretzels or triscuits, that kind of thing. And, uh, and usually a, uh, a cup of Earl Grey tea to go with it, with uh, milk and honey. Sometimes I'll swap it out for... I used to have it with iced tea, 
um, and then I switched to hot Earl Grey tea. Although now I've gotten really obsessed with that Pure Leaf uh, iced tea, which I know I shouldn't be. I'm, I'm trying to kick soda as much as I can, uh, but iced tea is not much better. <laughs> you could do art like me dark spine sonic you can in fact if you pick up drawing and, and teach yourself you could get better than me honestly oh green apples are good i haven't had you know what i don't have apples like much at all anymore and i really should i think the closest i have is um sometimes i'll get those like kind of dried apple chips um and uh Um, I used to like having like apple slices when I was a kid. Um, it's, well, you know what? That's actually kind of put me in the mood for apples. Maybe I'll get some next time I go to the grocery store. I got some bananas. I would have had a banana with this too, but they're they're like, you know, super green. So I gotta let them ripen or unripen or whatever. <laughs> Managed to replace Bob Blast in my life with boba tea. Yeah, Wes, my roommate, uh, Kajit was obsessed with Baja Blast for a long time and he kind of overhauled his uh, uh, his diet quite a bit and um, yeah he doesn't have that anymore which is good <laughs> um, I I get boba sometimes I really like Thai iced tea Thai iced tea is very good um, also very sugary I love the uh, Thai iced tea um the, it's like a Thai slushy. It's like just the perfect mix of like sweet, milky, and icy. And it's like, oh, it's so refreshing. I love that shit. There's like a boba. A few boba places around where I live. Have you ever tried meditation? I have tried. I need to meditate more, to be honest. I really should. Thai. I don't think I've, you know what? I don't recall if I've tried chai, C-H-A-I, chai before. I don't remember. That's the purple, like kind of lavender looking kind of one, right? I might have tried it before, but I don't remember. And matcha is the, the green, like kind of green tea looking one. Um, I think I've tried that, but I usually only like hot green tea to go with sushi. All right, Jasmine's good, definitely. Sparkling ice. What is my humor level? You've got dark, well, I would think so, dark spine. Um, I don't know. I have some dark humor sometimes. No, you know what? I think I'm kind of... My <laughs> my humor level is turning into fucking dad jokes as of late. Toxic and the other uh, germ and all that. My Discord friends can tell you that. That they're just... They groan a lot at my jokes. Chai is spice tea. Taro is the purple one. Okay, Taro. That's the one. Gotcha. I don't... Yeah, I don't think I... You know what? No, I've not tried chai. I don't like spicy stuff that much. So. Ugh. Sparkling ice is pretty much carbonated sugar-free juice. Oh. I've not tried that before. I got some... When I went to the con, 
trying to remember the name. I'll, I'll look at it when I go downstairs, but I got these, like, sugar water drinks that I'm, like, there's, it's, like, 250 grams of sodium and, like, like 30 grams of sugar, and I'm just like, oh, God, I cannot have these. <laughs> Good Lord. Um, oh. Favorite Sonic Frontiers boss theme, and why isn't it Find Your Flame? Uh, which boss is Find Your Flame theme of? I don't remember. I like the one when you fight the, I don't know what it's called, but when you fight the Dragoon, maybe it is Find Your Flame, but it has like a little tiny bit of um, fist bump in it. Um, I'm with you. Uh, yeah, I like, uh, well, oh no, you know what? I do like the theme of the end, the final boss theme. The da, 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 da. I love that. Um, and uh, one of the cyberspace levels is also, I really, really enjoy uh, in, uh, in that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my god. Um, we'll, we'll probably get it. I think it's from the third island, the cyberspace theme that I like. There's a really good Silver Gunner mashup of it with uh, Bulletproof, the song. Sugar-free candy suddenly. They make sugar-free Reese's Cups? Jesus. Vandalize is good, yeah, yeah. That's, is that like the main kind of theme? I don't know. Break through it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Dragoon, if, if that's the flying snake one with the... Although, that's, that's I'm with you. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm assuming. I don't know. I might be misinterpreting. Uh, okay, I'm done snacking. Let me let me play the where are you? Play the fishing theme again for a little bit. All right, uh, I will be right back yet again. Just gonna throw out this garbage, uh, go piss, and then uh, we'll get back to working on these. So, okay, burb.
<clears throat> I'm gonna try. My legs are kind of tired, so I'm gonna see if I can do a few of these. I'm sitting down here. This won't be too painful on me. Your gooey boy, Stacy. Oh, the gooey, the gooey shark. Yes, I'll be getting to him very shortly. All right. I don't know what's going on. My camera's like not being super cooperative today. When I watched uh, Courtney uh, play this game, um, I uh, I remember really liking the kind of uh, Shadow of the Colossus feel of some of these bosses. I thought that was kind of a cool idea. Copyright. Anyway.
Oh, no problem, Sword Greyfire. Glad, uh, glad you enjoyed. I hope I did your character justice. Forgive me for not remembering exactly which one it was, but if I have finished it by now, I, I, uh, I presume that you liked it. I hope. <laughs> speed paint break through it all got copyright yeah yeah that's the thing when it's vocal songs that are like you know by artists with like record labels and stuff yeah it, it can be it can be a bit of an issue that's why I actually um, excuse me now that I'm no longer with uh, a YouTube network I, I'm, I'm not with uh, screenwave anymore um, now I don't have like you know, them to come bail me out of a jam if that ever happens. So, I pretty much have to just be careful at this point with, you know. character looks like he's about to compete with boyfriend yeah and like a a uh, Friday Night Funkin uh, mod or something there we go alright seven remain never be a YouTuber solely for the amount of times I'll break into very copyrighted karaoke. <laughs> that's true. I think that's why all the Hololive girls, they'll, they'll always do like, uh, you know, uh, they always do unarchived karaoke. for slimy sharky boy. Oh, I, I think I just went off on a tangent. I didn't get to finish this thought. Yeah, some of my older streams, um, 
they have gotten uh, copyright struck uh, because of, um, you know, like vocal songs or whatever that I played when I was listening to stuff. So. When it's a stream and it's not archived, it's not that big of a deal. Um, you just can't monetize it because record labels have a, an understandable a pro a problem with that. I'm not. I'm not blaming them for it. Because you know, it's their it's their property. So. In fact. I was thinking of, uh, excuse me, finally, uh, recording all the TTA episodes as, like, video files instead of just, uh, flash files. Like, recording them with OBS and putting them up in chunks on my channel. Um, I was thinking about maybe doing that, and I realized, like, God almighty, I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if I'd, uh, be able to have any of them be monetized because of uh, the copywritten music and them, unfortunately. But I don't know. I do not know. I'll have to see about that when I got up to that point. He's like a, he's like a bubbly, like, soda shark, almost.
Glenn and Chaos are both liquidous guys. <laughs> Glenn is full of love, which may taste like soda. Just came to tell you a friend made me realize that the antivirus dragon looks like the cyber dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, okay, I can see that. Uh, the debug dragon is based on a combination of uh, Ryu Kotse, which was a, a, a demon from an episode of Inuyasha, uh, and something else that I'm trying to recall. Probably a little bit of like uh, like Seedramon or something. Like probably a Digimon of some kind that I didn't even realize. Uh. Open your heart to the love of the Baja Blast Shark. <laughs> Got the One Punch Man Season 2 Blu-ray from Walmart. Cool. I could only hope that you've also purchased uh, Mob Psycho 100 at some point, mayhaps. Sharky boy, complete. Ta-da! Six remain. Slime shark chaos. Favorite Batman show? Uh, oh, series. Uh, oh, it's a tough one. Um, probably Batman Beyond. Really, really like Batman Beyond. That was the one I have uh, the most fond memories of, I would say. Got Sonic Colors straight from Amazon. Oh, Atlas, yes, this is your character. Cool. This is Turquoise, is that their name? I'm assuming. Very cool. Got Sonic 06 for Xbox 360. And not, and not encountered any glitches. That is a feat of science if I've ever seen one. I like how I said science right as I saw this guy. <laughs> I, I really ought to stream Sonic 06 someday. That'd be fucking hysterical. community smash day uh, if I was paying for smash uh, or for the switch online I would consider that I haven't touched smash in a while I remember like I think last year just for the hell of it I was uh, I was playing um, some of the old classic modes like just just for shits um, and I think Mac and I streamed it uh, at one point. Please stream Sonic 06. <laughs> Maybe that'll be uh, an idea I could do someday. I still have my original copy.
it is, in fact, no use! Ever since Smash added Sora, new characters updates were done. My friends stopped caring for Smash. We only play games like Duck Game now. <laughs> yeah, I used to play Smash a lot more when, like, I had other people to play with. Um, but uh, a lot of the people that I played with, uh, I don't, like, hang out with nearly as much as I used to anymore. Um, we all kind of moved on to just, you know, doing other things. And, uh, and again, like, I, I don't have the, the Switch Online support anymore. Uh, it's just another expense that I, you know, don't need to be paying for because it's not all that important. So, uh, yeah, I just haven't had much reason to. It's not that I don't still love it. Ultimate is, is fantastic, obviously, but... I found you, faker. Sucks that you have to pay for online Nintendo. For what Nintendo has put out, uh, essentially a splintered variant of Virtual Console. I don't know, I think it's kind of a better deal than the Virtual Console because, like, it's a cheaper price for basically getting access to everything. So it has value too. I could also understand, like, wanting to own the game separately, but if that's the case, then you just gotta go track them down. I've noticed a lot of retro games are, are cheaper than I thought that they were. So, you know, there is always that option. Alright. Okay, I think I'm going to lift up my desk and stand for the rest of these. folks. We have five left. Here we go.
This one definitely sounds like it's like from a rave or something. You know what I was watching uh, the other night and, and also uh, earlier this afternoon before I started streaming was I found like a, a compilation of like a bunch of old uh, Japanese Super Nintendo commercials like for uh, like for games and stuff that I had never seen before and I was learning about like god damn there are so many Super Nintendo game or Super Famicom games that uh, never came out over here. Because, wow. There's just, there, there's like no end to them. Like, good lord. So many that were just like completely uh, unrecognizable. But they looked really interesting and stuff. Be curious to hunt some of those down if they have English versions that I'm just not aware of. Most of Alpha and Kerbet suit. Mostly an excuse to draw them screaming. <laughs> I'll go ahead and retweet that. Thanks, uh. Thanks, Zega. Appreciate it. It's funny. This part of the theme of this desert island reminds me of uh, a little bit of the theme of the desert stage from uh, Sonic 06. <laughs> it was a dusty desert, I think. I've not played any of the Sam and Max games. Sam and Max, I watched like a couple episodes of the show. Um, Germ really loves Sam and Max. It's Sam and Max Freelance Police. Hey, kids. <laughs> Cool. All right. 
four remain. Let's wait till the dubstep cyberspace kicks in. <laughs> Has it not already, truly? Welcome, Asher, if you're a first timer. Oh, is this uh, one of your characters, Kurila? Cool.
Three remain. Three big balls. Look like we play in tennis. Do I know Fleetway Supersonic? All I know is, is he has crazy spirals in his eyes. I've not actually seen the, the comic before. So I don't know much. Wondering if the Frontiers DLC will take place during or after the game. Yeah, I don't know. Probably still will be a little bit before we get the DLC for that, I'm assuming. Oh, is this your character, uh, Raven? Cool. I thought the art style looked familiar.
Um, please. Thank you. Um, His name is Laloon, because he's got moon powers. Moon power make up! Say Laloon! <laughs> Sorry. Do, 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 say Laloon. Now you have to draw him as a sailor, uh, a sailor guardian, you mean? Thank you very much. Yes, you do need to do that. I'm glad I <laughs> implanted that in your brain. If you guys want to ever rewatch Sailor Moon, I think the whole uncut dub that I did for Viz a few years ago is uh, all on Hulu. Highly recommend it. Ah, yes, I'm going to make him into a, a Kerbifer guy. <laughs> use this font oh this font dark spine sonic is having fun with the magical special ability to uh change their font apparently
Fascinated to see the design process for another curb imp thing. <laughs> Same kind of little like uh, patchwork kind of design as uh, curb. All right, one last. Official curb maker pick crew win. <laughs> I've never, I've never tried to make my own pick crew. Maybe I should try that sometime. Give that a good old shot. All right, we got this cute Final Fantasy XIV cat girl, and that will be it. And then I'll, uh, I'll show you guys um, how I uh, will be integrating them into the the new um, uh, the new uh, crowd scenes.
Are they talking about the danger room? Like from X-Men? Oh no, it's deja vu, sorry. Deja vu. Personal opinion about the Sonic CD Game Over sound from the US. I don't remember what it sounds like because I've actually played very little of uh, Sonic CD. That's sad to say. My favorite DC superhero. Ooh. That is... That's a tough one. I'd have to think about that. Because um, I love the characters from uh, Young Justice and uh, Justice League. Um, but I don't know wh who like my absolute favorite is. Because so many of those characters I love as like a group. Jamu, uh, feeling, a feeling you've heard this bowl before. There you go. Just watch the My Hero season six finale. Uh, I have only one episode left, so I haven't seen like the end end of the season yet. But uh, I'm almost done with it. It's been very good. This this has been one of my new favorite seasons of the whole show so far. Personally, like Green Arrow. Green Arrow is great. No, I don't know. Yeah.
Mine's the Flash. Oh yeah, Flash is great. I like Wally specifically. All right, beautiful, cool. All right. Well, that completes. Let's take a look. There we are. Woo, baby. Okay, so now, let's take a look at how this is all gonna work. All right, so, some of you guys, a few streams ago, uh, when we went and we watched uh, episode five with the new intro that we have, uh, you might remember this part. Fate to another world entirely. While some are discovering who they truly are. Me? I'm a hacker. I'm a game developer. But most importantly of all, I'm the one who stands for justice. So here's where I placed uh, a good chunk of the new ones that we got. Here, in the terrain of magical expertise, a virtual reality game that I helped create is where I find myself chasing down the remnants of a rogue AI. Ooh, that actually reminds me. Ooh, that needs to be a graphic. There we Here, go. Now they're actually the moving. Of magical expertise, the virtual reality game that I helped create is where I find myself chasing down the remnants of a rogue AI. Cool. So, yeah, all these guys, uh, I believe up to, what was the, okay up until 125. So, 126. Uh, okay, so right here. So all these remaining ones uh, are what need to go into the next part. Okay, so we got that. Cool. Go ahead and re-export that scene. I gotta re-export that also as a new uh, movie file. Pardon Swivel in a minute. Bum, bum. Okay, and now let's go to... Okay, so the next uh, crowd shot uh, is going to be a little bit of a connecting piece from uh, the end of episode five. Uh, so you might remember uh, that episode five after... Demon Alpha gets totally jobbed <laughs> by, um, uh, what's it called? By, by, um, uh, by Zeto, of course. Uh, Curb logs back in sometime later and he walks over to the little poster here. So, we need to start putting in all of these characters here. So, yes, okay, all of these. Whoop! Cool. And right around here is where, okay, yes, when he comes in. Okay, so. So, curb is all the way over there, which means I have plenty of room to distribute all of these guys. Um, okay. So this is, yeah, where the next batch will be. And the, uh, the place where all of these characters, the returning ones, I'm not going to show where they will be, uh, because I want to keep the context of what that's about. Uh, I want that to be a surprise. So that part is not going to, uh, be shown. Um, but... 
uh, I will I will go ahead and place these guys in here uh, and continue on for a little bit. So. Good. Okay. Cool. All right. Now to go ahead and place them.
that. Sorry for the silent concentration of that, folks. Alright, let's see. As soon as this finishes exporting, I will show you guys uh, how it all fits together in the finished product. Love watching the process. Wish more DVDs and Blu-rays had behind-the-scenes stuff. You know, it's funny you mentioned. Um, I haven't bought a home release of anything in a long time. I used to love collecting DVD sets and VHS tapes and things. I don't have a whole lot of Blu-rays. But I think that I am going to get the Mario movie on Blu-ray because I would love to see what the special features are on it. I'd be very intrigued to uh, check that out. so long since I've done intense camera shots in Toon Boom, so I'm just, ooh, the camera's panning, that's cool. <laughs> file for the second movie and I will show you all Okay. So, right, be quiet. Cool dubstep. All right. So, uh, well, since it's right here, um, I'll show you guys. In fact, you know what? Here, I'll I'll preview. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll preview the scene. Let me let me get my uh, headphones on so I can share it with the proper audio. So yeah, we watched uh, episode five last time. Um. And uh, I cut off right before the credits were going because one of the new scenes <clears throat> that uh, is going to be in 
uh, the second compilation movie here is uh, right at the end of uh, it's between episodes five and six so let's take a look What transpired here? Oh, this? We were just playing. He lost. Lost? That was fun. But I suggest you don't try and mess with me like that again. You don't know what you're dealing with. I'll tell you what, though. You see this? When everyone gathers to this stadium, that's the next time we'll play. I trust that's a fair amount of time for you to get better. Oh, and I guess while you're at it, Find a partner. A good one. I'll be ready. what so there you go another little preview for you uh so and that's where of course all those guys that i just dropped were shown uh i will show here as well but most importantly of all i'm one who stands for justice here in the terrain of magical expertise a virtual reality game that i helped create is where I find myself chasing down the remnants of a rogue AI that puts everyone who comes here for an escape in mortal danger. Today so there you go. So those two shots are where all of the new ones that we got for specifically this, uh, this second of the three compilation films. Uh, this is, uh, that's where the... Uh, new characters that were donated by all of you lovely, lovely people out there are going to be. Uh, like I said before, I'm not going to show where the um, the repeated ones uh, are going to be sent because I want that to be a surprise. It will be a little bit of a spoiler for something that I want uh, you to experience. Uh, excuse me, when we see uh, you know the game or the, the the movie for the first time, which will be in approximately. Uh, 19 days from now, uh, on April 29th is when Terrain of Magical Expertise, Two Lives, uh, which compiles episodes 5 through 10, uh, into, what is the total runtime? It is, it is two hours and 11 minutes. So a little longer than the previous one covers more uh, material there. So look forward to it. It's going to be good. And, uh, yeah, and I think from here, that's going to wrap us up. So let me get rid of this. Yeah, back to Flash. Uh, well, thank you, everybody, again. Uh, seriously, thank you very, very, very much for uh, all of your wonderful, wonderful support uh, in, in donating your characters. I feel tremendously honored to have them uh, in my world once again. And uh, I don't know for sure if there will be an opportunity for people on the third one. Because um, I don't know if there will be any places where there will be any more like new crowd shots necessarily. I'm not sure. Uh, but who knows? That could change. We'll see. Uh, but yes, 
Uh, thank you guys. This was tons of fun to do all these over the last several streams now. How many did we do? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four streams it took, uh, which was in total, let's see, five, nine, twelve and a half, and... 16. 16 hours of work in total to do all of these guys. Um, not these guys you're seeing, but all the other new ones in this file. 16 hours of work. Whoo, baby boy. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, that's going to do it for now. Uh, yeah, the next stream on Thursday, I believe, is going to be me starting up on... Woo! Uh, Mega Man Battle Network 1 when the Legacy Collection drops. On the 14th? 13th? 14th, I think? I don't know. Soon. Yes, soon. Uh, 13th. Yes, that's right. Uh, wow. Well, this has been great. Uh, there will be some more promotional stuff. Uh, if you check out my TikTok, which is... Uh, I'm, I'm Kerbifer15 on TikTok, much like I am on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to have a couple of promotional TikToks for uh, the upcoming movie, so... Uh, Take a look there. And once again, if you would like to support me beyond checking out these streams, please uh, go to patreon.com slash Kerbifer and consider becoming a patron to help uh, support my future creative works. So that's going to do it. Thank you, everybody. I will catch you all on the next one. Uh, everybody have a... I hope you all had a lovely Easter if you celebrate it or otherwise. Or if not, I hope you at least had some delicious food, egg or chocolate or otherwise that day. Uh, I'm gonna go lay down for a little bit because I'm a tired. So, yeah. Alright, folks. Catch y'all later!